Yes, competition is stiff at the Daytona 200, the biggest motorcycle race of them all. And these mechanics know the importance of the job they have to do. To win this most prestigious race of the year means money, fame, and points towards the national championship. Although BSA and Triumph come from the same parent organization, competition is still strong between the two. You know, racing improves the breed, and secrets learned in racing about power, handling, and braking are often incorporated into the production models. All of the major teams will be represented here. BSA and Triumph, Harley-Davidson, Kawasaki, Honda, Yamaha. Competition will be keen with some of the top names in the field, many of the mixed champions competing for the various teams. Number nine, Tom Rockwood. Ex-Grand National Champion, Gary Nixon, riding with a leg broken but three weeks ago. England's Mike Halewood, riding for BSA. Paul Smart, also from England, riding for the Triumph team. BSA's Don Emdy, son of the 1948 Daytona winner, Floyd Emdy. And Dick Mann, last year's Daytona winner, riding for BSA this year. Talk about speed. Paul Smart aboard a Triumph Triton has won the pole at a sizzling 105.8 miles per hour. And it's money and trophy time. The race is nearing its start now and there are the last minute inspections while the mechanics make the final adjustments. You can feel the excitement and the tension. Daytona is a tough race to win. To do it, you've got to approach speeds of 160 miles per hour in the straightaways. Tremendous start with Gary Fisher on a Honda leading the first lap, followed by Paul Smart, Triumph Track, Mike Halewood, BSA Rocket 3, and Dick Mann, BSA Rocket 3. Fisher holds the lead for the first five laps with Smart capturing it in the sixth lap. holds the lead until the eighth lap. By the eleventh lap, Don Emdy works his way up to fourth. Gene Romero reaches fifth. The BSA Rocket Three and Triumph Trident riders are in top form, holding the first five positions. What a duel between Smart and Halewood. Wow, look at that style. Halewood races out in front with man trailing right behind and Smart falling back to third. Halewood is retired now and Smart pulls into the lead with man close behind.
Dick Mann takes a pit signal and overshoots the first turn but recovers quickly. Number three, BSA's Dave Aldana is in for a pit stop while the race goes on. Smart's bike has gone on two cylinders and Dick Mann is in the lead. Aldana is back into the race running well. Triumphs, Gary Nixon moves into fifth place, broken leg and all. Uh-oh, trouble. Nixon's bike is broken and he's out. Luck holds out, man will be the 1971 Daytona 200 winner. And so the grueling race wears on and on with temperatures reaching the 90s and the sun beating down relentlessly on riders and spectators alike. But these machines display amazing endurance. Daytona 200 winner for the second year in a row with a record speed of 104.737 miles per hour on a BSA Rocket 3. Gene Romero is in second place on a Triumph Trident with Don MD finishing third on yet another BSA Rocket 3. It has truly been a day for the big three cylinders. <laughs>